the Target Nathan Aspinall Black Darts Review begins right now. What's up guys, Worldwide here. We got a great video for you today and pretty good timing if I do say so myself, although I certainly didn't plan this out. However, the good timing is that Nathan recently made it to the 2022 PDC Grand Prix Finals where he lost against the eventual winner, Michael Van Gerwen. Van Gerwen got off to a great start. Nathan clawed his way back, but it just wasn't enough. And he had actually had a couple darts to push it to a deciding set. Anyway, heck of a match though, so yeah. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the Target Nathan Aspinall Black Darts. Now, keeping with the main theme of this channel where great darts don't have to cost a lot of money, well, you may be wondering, well, well hey, these are pretty expensive, right? Well, that they are. So you may be wondering, well, what's going on here? Where'd you buy them? So, did I get them at AZ Darts for $100? Nope. Okay, what about Double Top Darts for $68? Nope. So check this out, and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that might not even be aware this even exists. Actually bought these right here in the United States, and I got them on Amazon USA for $47. Now, how did I do that? Well, I was browsing through the used darts. Believe it or not, these are used. So what happens is someone might buy them, return them for whatever reason, so these were listed as used in like new condition. So when you're browsing used, that's what I always look for, the like new condition. And uh, yeah, lo and behold, these are in like new condition. There's a little rip on the box. There was a couple dings on the darts, nothing bad though. And um, yeah, an amazing price, $47, less than half the price that they sell for here at AZ Darts in the United States. So yeah, pretty amazing deal, I thought. So uh, yeah, let's just jump right into this. We'll grab the other camera. I'll hit you with the stats and dimensions. After that, we'll take a close up look. I'll tell you about the grip. And then after that, straight to the board, I'll throw these for a little bit and I'll let you know what I think of the Target Nathan Aspinall Black Darts. And uh, we might have a little clip at the end, kind of a funny Robin Hood. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put that in there, but yeah, it should be a good video, guys. Here we go. Okay, let me show you the packaging, then we'll take a quick peek of the darts, and then straight into the stats and dimensions. So they came in this sealed Amazon clear plastic bag. I thought this sticker was kind of funny. Thanks to me, this product has a second life. And you know what? They certainly do, being featured here on this channel. So same old Target cardboard hang case that we're used to. I guess it has a return or an Amazon return label on the back. I tried to peel that off. No luck there, so that's permanent. So yeah, the darts came in there. Of course, we've got the foam insert. We've got the Target Swiss Point tool, which I will be using to repoint these things right before the throwing part of the video. We have the Target warranty card. These are listed as 24.2 grams. I'm gonna mention something about that in the next clip when we do the stats and dimensions, and then the darts themselves. You know what? They are in like new condition. If we can get some focus there. Oh, there we go. You know what? I would rate these in probably like at least 95% of new. There might, might be like a scratch on the nose cone, but you have to look really hard. The flights have a couple little dings on them, but yeah, like I said, these are just about 95% new condition. So yeah, definitely got a good deal for $47, but let's get a little closer look and we'll run down all the stats and dimensions you need to know. Okay, there you go, nice close up look at the barrels. I mean, come on, that is a great looking set of darts, definitely in the advertised like new condition. So I guess we can start up front. These come with a black 26 millimeter target Swiss point. The barrels are 90% tungsten, the barrel length 51 millimeters even, and the barrel width right here, the widest point right on the nose cone, 7.2 millimeters wide. However, that tapers down drastically towards the stem at 5.9 millimeters wide. So these are a definite front loaded dart. Now I unscrew the stem and check out the drill depth. These are drilled out 12.4 millimeters deep. And the advertised weight on here, I showed you the target warranty card. They're listed as 24.2 grams. I got a little issue with that, but I'll give you the weight first. The first barrel went on the scale 24.17. 
24.20 and 24.21. So only four one hundredths of a gram off. However, they're over two tenths of a gram off from the advertised weight. I just think in this day and age, 2022, there's no reason with all the technology, they should be able to get these closer to the advertised weight. There's no reason why they can't weigh, you know, 24.02 grams, a rate spot on at 24 grams. So two tenths of a gram off. I think they need to work on that a little bit. Let me know what you think about that. But let's get a little bit closer look. I'll tell you about the grip and then I'm going to switch these out, kind of customize them a bit and get them ready for the throwing part of the video. Here we go. Okay, so I'm not sure if you'll find this surprising or not, but guess what? This dart, or this barrel, not that grippy. I guess I can start up front. We've got these teardrops into this nicely tapered nose cone. We've got this pixel grip section, and followed by three multi-rings and a smooth section with the Target logo. The front end, man, there's literally no grip at all. Very smooth up front. You don't even feel this pixel grip here. So yeah, front end, hardly any grip. And we've got these eight sections of wider multi-rings, and these multi-rings have the micro multi-rings. So yeah, a little, little bit more bite on the back end. Overall, man, I gotta give these maybe like a level 2.4 grip on a scale of one to five. Just not a grippy dart. So that's it, but here's what we're gonna do. I am going to install these 35 millimeter gold Diamond Pro points. We also have the Target, well not the Target, but the 8 flight system, the ones that unscrew here. So I'm going to install that and get these things ready for the throwing part of the video. I sense, you know, since they're used, it's not a new set, I don't mind switching things up. So let me switch these out real quick and see if they look better or worse. Let me know. Oh, come on. Now we're talking. Look at that. 35 millimeter point. We're ready for some action now. I think that's a huge improvement up front. 26 millimeters, it's just, it's a little too stubby for me. We've got the eight flight on the back end. Did a review on those a little while ago. I think I compared these against the Winmore Stealth, I believe. But um, yeah, that's the setup. So let's get these things on the board and see how they fly. I think I'm gonna see some tight groups with these monster points on the front end. Nice that the points match the gold label there. So what do you think? Better? Worse? I think it looks better. Let me know down in the comments section, but yeah. Let's get these things on the board and give them a rip. Here we go. Okay, let's see how this goes. I just spent a little few extra minutes warming up. I was just actually trying to get used to these 35 millimeter points. That's actually quite a long point. I had to adjust my grip a little bit. So my pointer finger and thumb, it's pretty much covering the target logo right up front. Seems to work well for me. So we'll see how this goes. Five throws with the target Nathan Aspinall black. I do want to talk about the Target Swiss points though. You know, when they first came out, being totally honest, I just wasn't a fan of these things at all. There was so many people posting pictures of their broken points. So these things were, oh hey, nice throw. These things were breaking at an alarming rate. And you know, that can get expensive really quick when you're having to switch out fairly expensive points. I mean, these things aren't cheap. However, Target has now claimed to made them better, stronger, new and improved. So, you know, you don't see pictures of broken points too much anymore. And to be totally honest, they, they've grown on me. I do like them now. I think the positives outweigh the negatives. So, I mean, they come in a ton of different varieties now. So you can switch out your points to any length, any sort of level aggressive grip that you want. So it's kind of a good idea when you're at home, you don't want to beat on your brand new dartboard. You use these smooth points that they came with. When you go out to lead, you want to use a more aggressive point like this Diamond Pro. Super easy to switch out. I mean, I literally just spent less than a minute with the Target Swiss repointing tool. Yeah, it took me less than a minute to switch out these points, which is kind of nice. You don't need a $40, $50, $60 dollar repointing tool. And I mean, it couldn't be easier. So yeah, I think the, the positives certainly outweigh the negatives. So yeah, they've grown on me. Long story short, I like the Swiss points now. Ooh, where'd that one go? Oh man, very nice. Wow, they stick in the board really well too. So the, uh, the barrels themselves, I quite like them. I don't like the price, I'll be honest with you. And really, the only reason I bought them is because I got such a great deal on them. 
So yeah, I don't like the price, and I also don't like the fact that these are a pro player dart, where that pro player will never use these barrels. I just, I've never liked that from any company. I just, if I want a pro player dart, I want the exact set of darts that they use, and that's it. I don't need any fancy special editions, and um, like, you know, MVG just won the Grand Prix, so expect what's going to come out next month, the MVG Grand Prix dart, right? So I just, not a fan of that stuff, but to each their own. Nonetheless, this is a this is a nice set of darts. It throws nice. Straight down the middle, although when I say that, I usually jack one in the five. Ah, there it is. There's my five. If you can find a set of these on sale, by all means, but you know, would I spend $100 on these things at AZ Darts or buying, you know, $100 here in the United States? <laughs> Absolutely not. I wouldn't even spend the $75 shipped from Double Top. Wow, they do throw. Really nice. There's a great example right there. Let me double check. Yeah, that second one went in. Again, 7.2 millimeter wide barrels. Not the skinniest things, but with these longer points. You can get groups like that. I don't, you can't really see it too well, but I mean, those points are almost touching in the board. Let's see. Now, if this wasn't a YouTube video, I would definitely go for cover shot. However, I'm gonna be greedy, and try to fit one in that left-hand corner. And something's telling me that's a dumb idea. Oh, ah, oh. trouble five. So yeah, look at that group here in the corner. Again, 7.2 millimeter wide darts. Doesn't matter when you use long points like this. How many throws was that, by the way? I think that was four. I lose track. We'll do one more here. Oh, come on, that treble five. I should be able to go right beside it. I should be able to go right beside it. Oh, a little deflection. 55. All right. We'll do one more. I was all over that treble 20. I couldn't get in there. <laughs> Come on. All right. Right above it, third dart. Saver, get in. We'll call, we'll call it quits right there. <laughs> Yeah, those points stick in the board unbelievably well. I think I actually pulled out a couple little fibers there. Yeah, not too bad, though. And actually, the, as, as aggressive as a point as this is, they do wear down fairly quick. So um, they're not going to tear up your dartboard. So that's a bonus. But hey, there was a couple fun five or six throws with these darts. Great set of darts. Again, don't like the price, but I like the price that I paid. So um, what do we got left? We got a 180 clip. I'm gonna give these a recommendation for your average recreational player. Close up of the 180 and that's it. Hope you enjoyed the last two clips. on darts two and three. Man, those points stick in well. Well, uh, hey, there it is, guys. That was actually didn't even take too long. I've been recording for two minutes, 54, 55, 56. Hey, less than three minutes. So and that was actually spent a minute setting up the camera there for the close up. So uh, yeah, that's just about it for the review, guys. I suppose it's time where I give these a recommendation how well these darts would work for your recreational, just average recreational dart player. So obviously they're gonna be on the expensive side. So that's kind of, uh, kind of a huge blow to the score. Nice front loaded dart though. I mean, it, it throws really well, you know, and it's a pro player dart that the pro player doesn't use. So there's a few negatives there. And I just don't think, you know, your average recreational dart player needs to spend $75 to $100 on this set of darts. So I'm going to give these a recommendation of 
5.2 out of 10. So, you know, for me, it was a great dart, fun dart to throw, but then again, I got a great deal on them, so that helps me anyway. So yeah, I think that's, that's a fair score. Um, you know what else I'm gonna do too? So I'll never use these darts again. I wanna pass along the good deal to someone here in the United States, simply for shipping reasons. So I'm gonna have my email down in the description box. If you want these things, $50 shipped and uh, they're yours. I'm actually gonna include the eight flight system as well. I do have to keep the gold points, but everything else, you get the original points and the eight flight system, $50 shipped, they're yours. So um, yeah, I guess that's it. We're gonna do the close up of the 180. I think I have a, a Robin Hood clip when I was trying to do the intro for the bullseye. So I'll throw that in there as well, just to make things kind of funny. And um, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, we will see you on the next video. Ah, later. <laughs>